Hi everyone, Master Wong here. Somebody asked me about today, somebody to tackle you what you should do on this kind of movement here. Now, this is the important thing to understand. Certain thing happens to... You're fuck. You got no understanding what's going on. This present moment here, we do some demo video, so we got mad. Otherwise, it's a big problem. You're gonna be dead. So this is important with your understanding is if what you why you doing some fighting and if somebody behind already tackle you down. The important thing you're understanding here is your both fall. Now when you fall like this on the mat, it's fine. Okay? But when in the real life, it's basically breaking your elbow, your arm. Now he behind you now. Okay? Now what he's doing down here, you got no idea what's going on. Okay? You're dead. So what the best thing to do is not the best thing to do. So if I'm here talking and he come in, you're talking and doing things behind, you're already in the position, you're already in the shit. So the idea is like this. Soon you're doing the stuff, he coming in, you're already see, then it's easier. But if you can't see, if you can't see what's going on, he coming in already, yeah, you try to drop your body. So if he come in quick a little bit, and then that way, your knee coming down, okay? But your whole face come, coming down. You still got break up knee. But instead, so you're coming quicker, so lunge, boom, like this. See, now you're here. Now you can be in, in the position a little bit, in control, and then you can struggle, struggle with me. So now you'll be down. At least you have got the face down, got a little bit of control here. And while you hand on your floor like this, it's again, it's not a problem. So you're in line, and then you fight from here, okay? So. But most of the time, you have to understand in this situation is, it's no perfect solution. The most important thing is, I'm um, doing things, and if we see something not sure, you're already facing it. Okay, now, this is troubleshoot to understand. That's why I say to you now, when you're watching the video, watch to the end of the video, so understand. If you understand when you come in, he comes, you're here with it. Now it's easier for you to be controlled. So now you control your elbow, elbow, easier. Because if he grab hold me, and then struggle with me, then now hand right on the throat, now it's gonna be difficult. So it's gonna be grab his eye straight away, on his eye here, force my throat, then cut his eye, okay? Then get the thing in here, and then shove his eye on here, and sort it out. Grab here, grab his neck, bring him across, and then from there, grab him, boom, upon his face, and then you deal with him from here, okay? The movement. Because it's very difficult for you to try to Mess with you, you just shove your hand right to his goddamn eyeball and fix him. Another thing you troubleshoot at this is when it came, you know it came, you drop your body down here when, it, when you're here. This hand, grab me straight away to his eye. Don't give him any chance at all to push me, push me, push me. You shove it in, you don't give him a chance to be able to push you down. Okay, if you try to grab here and hit him, hit him, you see what I just done, now you end up here. Okay? So the most important to understanding is in our Wing Chun training. When you feel something is vulnerable already, using what you got straight away and use to get to the straight away to the pressure point on the body. That's the eye. Deal with it right away and then sort him out. Okay? Now, not unfortunate, the thing about to understand. When he came in and you're already back and he came and you see him like this already, your hand is in a perfect position. He will take you, tackle you straight away. Grab his straight away on his ear. That means straight on his eye. Okay, now do something. Straight one here, and then this hand. This hand, shove on his throat here, and ground you like this. Don't fucking tackle me anymore, anymore. And then, and then you, and then he's dead, and then now you move. You have to make sure that when you're working and thinking about this, if you're in this situation, you got no other choice but do whatever it takes. Okay, don't take. No prisoner, okay? Do you understand that? Another thing as well, if he coming in and he push you right down the way the way, boom, done, straight away, turn. Okay, it's no other choice you got, okay? Because when you're ready to land, you try to turn. If you got no choice, turn. Now you're here. You're in a position like this, okay? So that way it's easier for you to control him and hit me. So now easier for you to move with him. Okay, from here. You've got a chance, you can walk from here, move, 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 and then you can move out of the way. 
Sometimes it happens so quickly. Can you move quick like that? So when he came, then he come boom, boom, straight away like this. All the way, your knee come up right away here. And now you're in the position, do something. So here, control him, and now you're in position. Again, straight away, the hand. You got a choice here, he can still ground your eye. Remember that, okay? So now you're here, you're inside. So now you're here, okay? Move the leg, control him, now he's here, okay? Now this hand should be able to reach the nut, and this hand should be between the eye, and then quickly move him out of the way, and then you're done. Okay, thank you for that. So it's very difficult to dealing with this size of situation. If you're ready, being smacked your goddamn face down the ground, breaking your elbow, breaking your wrist, and then your face smacked on the floor, you're literally dead. Like I mentioned, if you're worried about watching the video right to the end, it's because you see some troubleshoot, certain things you allow and able and not able to do, okay? Need to understand that. If you're dumb, you're gonna dead and you're gonna have a big problem. If you like this kind of thing here, subscribe to me before your enemy do. Otherwise, your enemy know how to tackle you and take you down the ground and stamp on your head and you look so ugly. Your wife might devote your goddamn ass. If you want to learn any of the lesson here on this description, in there, they got information for my instructor and you can go there and learn from them. If you ask me anything else, ask me and I will be there to answer all your questions. Spend some time to practice. I will see you on the next lesson.